how to get more Facebook followers in 2019. Stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get your first 5,000 real fans. And I'm not talking about you buying fans and buying fake likes and other black hat stuff. So let's jump in. Once again, here we go. Know the name of the flow. Turn me up a little more. All right, guys, welcome to another video. My name is Marion, and if this is your first time here and you wanna learn more stuff about how to verify your Facebook page, how to get more fans, how to convert them into clients and customers, stick around, hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you get notified. So right now, I'm going to flip my screen and actually show you how you can get your first 5,000 super targeted real fans on your Facebook page. All right, guys, so let's see how are you going to get your first 5,000 real fans on your Facebook page? So again, we're not talking about how to buy fake followers and anything like that. No black hat. This is all white hat stuff, all right? So it's important to understand first, how are you going to achieve this, especially at the beginning stages? Because, you know, when you're first starting out in this in this online game, your authority and your the way that people will look at you, of course, have to do with a couple of metrics, but this process here works, but it only works once. So it's important to do it right from, from the first time. So in my case, like right here, I'll have to blur a couple of things because um, it's my wife's account. The reason for that is I'm not able to do it from mine because I already did it about a year and a half ago. So again, you're only able to do it once. So make sure you follow the steps and you do it properly from the beginning. Otherwise, you may miss out. And this can really, like this is the difference from you getting 500 fans versus 5,000 friends, right? So I'm pretty sure you get you get the point now. So what you'll be using, if so this will work even if you have already a business page, you'll essentially create a brand new one. And as long as they have similar names and similar categories and similar content, you'll be able to merge them and you'll tell Facebook, you'll tell Facebook which one you want to keep um, moving forward. So keep that in mind, right? Now, essentially the whole process the whole thing that we're going to actually do is you're going to convert your profile into a facebook page so don't freak out because you're going to be able to keep both of them so you'll have one you'll still keep your facebook profile and two is now you'll have a personal brand page under your own name so again that's why the whole personal branding concept comes in place but you're also going to have a business page and that will be completely transitioning all your friends from the from your profile as fans into your uh, Facebook business page. So now let's go into this for the first time that I'm doing it. So uh, first time that I'm logging into my wife's account. So but she was cool with that. So bear with me here. If you look at friends, you'll see that. In this scenario, she has 750 friends. Now, what you want to do is you want to get to the max out portion. So this will probably take you up to like a week in order for you to do it strategically and do it right. So what you want to do is you want to put together five to 10 of your biggest competitors. So let's say in this scenario, my wife... She's a, a lash artist and a makeup uh, artist. She would pick five or, or 10 of her biggest competitors' pages. So for example, let's assume I'm doing this for myself. I'm going to search for Gary Vaynerchuk and I'm going to click on his page. And right here on the page, I'm able to look the videos that got the most uh, engagement. Or you can do it per post, you can do it per, um, per picture, whatever you decide to do, right? So again, you'll, you'll have to 
hustle. It's funny that now we are on, on Gary Vee's page. But you'll have to hustle a little bit um, because you'll have to see which post got the most engagement. So let's say we take in this one. This one's got 288 uh, likes, 160. This one's got 587. Now, again, the reason that you want to do this with your competitors' pages because everybody that like, share, and commented on a competitor piece of content, that can be a fan of yours. So if you would be to take one thing out of this entire training, this entire tutorial, is this. Your competitor have content that they pay for, they promote, they a bunch of things, right? If people are liking and commenting on that piece of content, it means that they really like it, they really enjoy it. So those people could be your fans, right, on your Facebook profile. But because you're now just building that page up, those people will have to become friends on your profile first. And when you convert your, uh, your Facebook profile into the business page, now they're going to be transformed into your fans. Now, another thing that you can do is you can go into info and ads and you'll be able to see what are the pages, what are the ads that Gary Vee is running. So, for example, um, you can look at all the ads that he's running but in this scenario, you'll have to click on every one of them and see what is the amount of likes and engagement and shares and all that stuff. But if you go, oh, look at this one. So the cover videos got 2 million views, right? If you go into the cover million, uh, into the <laughs> cover million, if you go into the cover uh, video, you're looking at the likes and it's got 3.6 thousand likes. So you're going to click on this. And you are able to see who liked it, who loved it, who was amazed by it, who laughed at whatever he put up there, right? So now comes the hustle. Now you are able to see all these guys that liked, for example, Gary Vee's piece of content. In your scenario, it would be your competitor, uh, your competitor page, your competitor's uh, piece of content. So you're going to start hitting ad friend, ad friend, ad friend to everybody that's going to be liking and sharing this content. Now, you'll have to do this for a while. If you only have, let's say, 500 or 600 uh, friends, you'll have to really hustle for a while, right? So, um, I just search for Lou's house page. All right, so I click on his page, for example, and now I can see, all right, this video's got 2.9 thousand views. This one's got 182,000. So, but it's got 339, uh, 399 likes. So you come right here and you start adding friends. If you know for a fact that that type of content is the type of content that you're going to create for yourself on that business page that you're going to convert into. These people could be your fans. Now, again, in order for you to generate 4,000 friends, and again, this is not spammy. And of course, you'll have to somehow be connected with at least one or two people at the beginning. So, it's probably going to take you a while to add thousands of people as friends because the reason behind all this is you're going to have a targeted, you know, 5,000 list of fans. They're going to be on your page and be able to see your content. Of course, organic, it's just not going to happen that much. Uh, but when you go live, uh, that's one thing that you can do when you do, you know, all kinds of hacks that you can hack the algorithm a little bit. This is one of them, for example, that can really skyrocket your Facebook game. So essentially, you're going to keep adding 
Now, again, don't add people that have maybe names that are not even from your country. If you're in the U.S. and you see people or you think that your fans should be from U.S. at the beginning or from Canada or from U.K. or Europe or Middle East, whatever you are in the world and you're watching this video. And by the way, I appreciate you. Focus on local on the local market if you're selling a local service focus on on a global movement if you have you know uh, if or if you plan to have a global brand so keep those things in mind before you start doing this right but again you're gonna have to add probably i would say one out of three or one depending on the industry so for example in my scenario in the whole internet marketing game it's only probably one out of five people that would actually say yes and will accept my friend request. Therefore, if I want 5,000 people to do to become my friend, I'm probably going to have to request 20,000. Uh, I'm probably going to have to send 20,000 friend requests. Now, it can be low. Like, for example, in, in my wife's uh, industry, makeup and beauty, she's probably going to be able to do she's probably going to be able to do much better than that. It's probably going to be two to three out of five, right? So again, you'll have to start doing it. Once you have the 5,000 friends or maybe 4,500 or whatever, you don't have to max out completely. Then you're going to come in here. So you're going to type in facebook.com forward slash help. You can, uh, I'll put this link in the description too, so you can actually copy it. And You'll come right here onto number one. See what he says to convert your profile to a Facebook page. Number one, go to create a Facebook page based on, based on your profile. And I'll put this link into the description as well. So you can, so you guys can actually um, shortcut it. So once you click this, it's going to bring you to a page that says do more with pages. Your profile is your personal account for connecting with friends on Facebook. By creating a page, you can use more tools and share with a wider audience. But when you hit um, get created, you're going to start seeing this. Now, I'm not going to do this because um, my wife's page is just 700 friends. So that's not going to help too much. But once you do have 5,000 friends, you'll be able to convert that into a page. And essentially, not essentially, literally, you'll have a page that has 5,000 uh, fans, right? So when I first, when I first um, converted my uh, page right here, and by the way, some of you guys did ask me about this verification uh, check mark and you'll be able to watch another video at the, at the end of this one where I'll walk you through how to do that too. So essentially when I did this and I converted my page into you know, when I converted my profile into the page, I had um, I had uh, 5,000 no I think I had 4,800 or something like that. I didn't max out to the um, to the T because you know you want to leave some room over there. So uh, see right here, I got 23,000 fans now, and I'm going to show you how you can increase that. But when you're first starting out, it's important to know that, okay, that's going to give you some credibility and that that little bit of boost, at least in yourself. And also when your clients look at your page and they'll see like, oh my God, you know, this person already had this business or this speaker or whatever already has 5,000 uh, fans, it means that you know, he or she is a big deal uh, or whatever, right? So I hope this was, this was helpful. Let me know in the comments once you implement this, how it looks. And hopefully I'm going to hear some uh, success stories from you guys. All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, or even if you haven't, let me know in the comments if this actually worked for you. And trust me, I've done it for a couple people and it definitely works. So all you have to do is just go back, watch it a couple of times and just put it in practice. But remember that you can only do it once. So keep that in mind. Don't try to do it when you only have 500 or 1,000 friends. You'll lose some time because you won't be able to get those 5,000 that I talked about, all right? Anyway, you don't want to miss the next episodes. So stick around and start binge watching the entire playlist 
where I talk about how to verify your Facebook page, how to get more fans and convert them into clients and customers. So I can't wait to see you on the other side.